Well, last Sunday, the Pedigree Australian Show Dog of the Year competition was held in Adelaide. Eight finalists from every state and territory strutted their stuff in the stifling heat before three international judges. And Stateline was there to capture the action. There she was, just walking down the street singing. It takes a judge's decision. They can like you, they can hate you. There are two sackers in South Australia. The Cricket Association has its famous turf at the Adelaide Oval. The Canine Association has its show lawns at Kilburn. And this is where they held the Sheffield Shield for Show Dogs last Sunday, in the middle of a heat wave that would have put any normal mutt into meltdown. But these are no normal mutts. They're the best of the best. He looks a bit like a husky. What is he? He's an Akita. He's bred for hunting and tracking bear. Eight champion canines from across the nation. I knew we was falling in love. The South Australian hopes rest on Jane Pike and her German Shepherd. Oh, I think I've got, I've got a one in eight chance of winning, I guess. Um, oh, there's stiff competition out there, though. The Siberian Husky is very nice, the Akita, and I believe the Afghan Hound I haven't seen yet, but that's apparently very nice as well. Every dog is a winner of best in show in their own state and territory. That means they're a winner not just against their own breed, but against all other breeds as well. I did a lot of shows with him last year. He was the number one dog all breeds in New South Wales and number four in Australia of all dogs being shown. This extraordinary Afghan, with the unlikely name of Eric, has come by car across the Hay Plains, but is still looking cool. His hottest competition would have to be Freddie the Siberian Husky from Queensland, who, despite the temperature, is also ready to give everyone a licking. Freddie has an incredible 143 best-in-show wins under his collar. This would be one of the few awards that he hasn't won because it's the last one, I'd like to, but if I do, I do, if I don't, I don't. Either way, he gets treated the same. This is Danny Boy, the sheepdog from Victoria, with a coat that needs two hours of washing before a blow dry and brush. You need to set aside the best part of a day just to get him ready. We started grooming him for this show now at one o'clock. So you've been working on him for about six hours? Yes, to get him to this. Well, you deserve to come close to winning, I reckon. <laughs> Show Dog of the Year is a strange concept for those unfamiliar with canine competitions. When a chihuahua competes against a husky, it's less like comparing an apple with an orange and more like comparing a peanut with a pineapple. And in the best in show world, size doesn't matter. So, yes, that's it. He's like that very much so. So we'll get you down here, hey, Bubba? Competitive little dog then, yeah. He doesn't like competition. <laughs> Like Danny the Sheepdog, Eric the Afghan spends an inordinate amount of time at the hairdressers before he's ready to strut his stuff. Yeah, they get used to it and um, they get a bit excited by it. They know what it's all about. He knows that he's going to be shown when all of this is happening. He's got a little bit of a dribble coming out of his eye. Is that going to be a worry? You're going to have to clean that off? Yeah. It's just from the fans. Is it? Yeah. Do they judge on that detail or not? No, they're judging on confirmation of confirmation, the dogs, how right. they judge cattle, how they judge horses, on their bone structure, how they're put together. And how they perform, how they behave? That's part of it, because it's hard to judge them if they're not showing well. Now, once again, ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation as I name the dogs. The long the Chihuahua, the Bull Terrier, the Waimarana, the Afghan Hound, the German Shepherd Dog, the Old English Sheepdog, Peter and the Siberian Husky. After all the preening, the prize poochers are finally called to the ring to be put through their paces. The first prize is a trip for two to either the top dog show in the UK or the US. And just to make sure there's no canine conflict of interest, the three judges aren't locals. They've been flown in from Japan, Sweden and Chile. There's a real art to handling a dog in a show ring, so to have the best chance of winning, not every owner gives it a go. I'm not fit enough 
for starters. And Ashley does a brilliant job because he's got long legs. He runs with her beautifully, shows her to her best advantage, and that's what you want as a dog. You want to get the best out of her. The judging's a four-part process. Each dog runs a lap of the ring, then stands to attention. Then its teeth, coat and muscling are all given the once over. Finally, it trots in a triangle to give each judge a front, side and rear view. After the judging, there's a black tie dinner. Then amidst the smoke machines and spotlights, we're told that Freddy the Husky is the top dog. Oh, he's excited, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he knows his one. Freddy he knows his one. Do you think oh, yes. he really does? Oh, he yeah? does. He really does. But all this is news to Eric the Afghan. Yeah. He thinks he won. Yeah, he thinks he always wins. Does he? Yeah. Oh, right. Because the Husky thinks he's won too. Yeah. Eric thinks he deserves to win every week, so he's happy regardless. So. He, do he does look happy too. Yeah. You won, did you, Eric? And in case you're wondering, poor Eric came third. The runner-up was actually the Waimarana. Well, that's state line for tonight.